The SEMO adapter is probably one of the most interesting accessory I got for my video camera as it turns my iPhone or iPad into a high quality monitor for any HDMI input. So not just limited to the camera, I can also connect it to a uh, Xbox or PS5, for example, or anything that has a HDMI output. I can also go live with a single button. Uh, I can go YouTube or Facebook or a custom um, address. So it really turns the iPhone into a compact live stream studio with the, the ability of a high quality mirrorless camera. So in this video, I'm also going to talk about some of the other interesting characteristics of this product and also its workaround for some of its uh, drawbacks. For example, the first one I can think of, I'm not going to go into details of all these monitoring uh, features as I think a lot of people on YouTube already covered all these um, menu options, right? Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about some of the things I noticed. First of all, it is powered by uh, one single U um, Sony battery pack. Pretty standard. Um, it has the 5 volts, 5 volts, 1 amp USB-C power output to uh, power other accessories. However, it cannot charge the iPhone via its USB-C to lightning cable. It has two cables included, the USB-C uh, to the Lightning and the USB-C to USB-C to be connected to the iPad Pro. This cable is replaceable. I can use the, any regular USB-C to USB-C data cable to connect to iPad Pro with M1 chip with a USB-C connection only. But this cable is very special. I tried all the other combinations with different adapters. For example, I first of all, I tried the USB-C uh, to the lightning cable. It will not work with the iPhone, the original Apple phone, uh, iPhone cable. It will be able to charge the iPhone, but as you can see here, it's going to be charging, but there will be no a signal coming into the phone. I, I cannot use it for monitoring as it is already uh, disconnected. So I tried the different adapters, for example, uh, Belkin USB uh, lightning to lightning, two lightning inputs to one lightning. I tried this one with the um, original included cable. It, it will not work. I thought, hey, maybe this will go here and do pass through. So I have an additional port to recharge the phone. Although the phone battery will last a long time, probably two, three hours, no problem. Um, but this again will not give me the signal from this adapter to the phone. So the only way to use it, the only way is to do this. Additionally, I also tried the <laughs> lightning to, um, USB-A and lightning input, it will, it, it will not, not work. So I tried everything. Now, as it's connected, now it's working again. So th this cable has to be uh, the original cable. I'm not sure how, what's so special about it. No idea, but uh, yeah, super helpful uh, audio meter here. So I talked a lot about this cable. So coming over here, it's just a regular uh, HDMI to HDMI, uh, micro HDMI. So any uh, video source should work or Chromecast, doesn't matter what kind of input it gets. It gets. And then it has the little clamp. So this, uh, I would recommend um, getting uh, another, so for example, a small rig uh, monitor mount so we can swivel it around to quickly pointing to the other direction. The, the clamping mechanism is a bit special. Never seen something like this. But anyway, um, 
So it will be able to adjust the angle, but not will not be able to rotate and face the other direction. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's the included quarter inch adapter. And the whole thing can be disconnected. Essentially, that's the most important part. Comes in two piece. This is the one that clamps the phone, which has uh, this um, mechanism to as one press to clamp, right? And a quarter and a quarter shoe mount on top. There is the I believe um, iPad accessory to install this one to the back of the iPad case, but I don't have that. Uh, and the battery, the whole unit will be powered on or off by pressing, press and hold this button for about two seconds. It also displays the battery meter, four bars. I believe this battery should be able to last me three, four hours, no problem. So there is no need to get a larger battery pack for that. Um, yeah, overall, I like it a lot, especially the, um, so first of all, uh, there are two things. I like how responsive it is. Second, I like how easy it is to go live, to do live stream on YouTube or Amazon Live. If I do custom um, uh, uh, RSTMP, it should be able to you know, pick it up. I already tested that. I'm not going to show that since I have my secret key in there. There is one thing I don't like is the software update. I cannot up upgrade the firmware. I tried my, all my other iPhone 14, um, the, the iPad Pro um, with M1. This firmware update does not work. I'm still stuck with the original V1.2. 03 version as the latest says 1.3 so that's that all these other links basically goes to their website uh, okay so that's the software uh, lots of different options again i'm not gonna go and dive into details the most useful is probably the audio meter here and the uh, grid for me uh, as i oh, that app just crashed and I made sure this is the latest download. So the stability wise, I, I guess it needs improvement. Uh, so for better reliability, also got lots of other um, options down there or uh, statistics for the uh, recording and battery life. I started at 100%, been using it for about a, maybe 30, 40 minutes, got a 92%. We got the video resolution down there in encoder. Uh, so I can take a screenshot here, basically a screenshot. Yeah. And press this button to record the video. So it will be directly saved to my iPhone photo camera rows. Yeah. Overall, I like the product a lot. Um, does have some stability issues. Again, could be the firmware update. I'm not sure how that would go. Uh, we'll see. Overall, I would recommend it. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.